Hello and welcome to RuneScape. So today's for the release of the Ark, and there are a bunch of mini quests that you'll probably want to go and do at the start of the game, uh, once you get in. Uh, some of these take longer than others, um, and they'll give you a boost of charms and a couple of extra areas. So this one we're going to do is the Death Lotus uh, person, uh, which is sort of combat based. Uh, so you can get to it from the central, this is uh, Waco, if you travel to Amanishi Island and then speak to uh, Ling and not get a contract um, but if, just talk to her and she'll tell you about a sort of a mini quest to go and do and she'll want you to, to find um, a person, find someone she's tracking down and to do that you'll need to go and get three books um, these books are dropped by the monsters here so there's uh, some monks there's some uh, elementals and then there's some dragons at the top uh, the monks only drop the monk book the elementals drop the monk book and the elemental book and the dragons drop the dragon book the elemental book and the monk book so it is a good idea to attack the dragons first. Uh, all of them are weak, say that they're weak to magic. Uh, they have a special ability. Uh, they do use abilities, as you can see, the adrenaline bar. When that adrenaline bar reaches the very top, uh, so you'll probably perhaps go and see here, it'll do a special attack, an ultimate ability, where it launches a big ball at you. Dodge out of the way of the ball, uh, or you'll get zapped for 2,600 life points. Um, once you've got all three books, uh, make sure you give them a read as there's some, I think there's a bug at the moment uh, where it won't recognise it. Uh, but you'll get all three books and you'll get these spirit dragon charms as well. Uh, it took me 58 kills to go and get all three books. Um, may take you a bit less, may take you a bit more, but it's, it's around 40 to 50 to 60 I guess. Um, and dragons that you'll need to kill to get all three books. Once you have all three books, head back and speak to Ling and uh, she'll tell you what she thinks she knows about it. Um, and then after that you can pop through the fountain. This well of spirits will then have an option to travel. Uh, this won't be here before you do the mini quest. Uh, and once you go in, okay, it will use up these tokens however long you're in here. Yes, uh, one token for one minute. And in this place is lots of dragons. Um, it's pretty empty, um, so if you have any challenges that you need to kill them stuff, this is a good place to come, uh, as long as you have plenty of these. I don't know whether you're going to get these from killing the, of the dragons in the spirit realm, but you certainly do on the overworld, so I imagine you probably would. Um, after you've done that, you can come down to the bottom and speak to the monk, uh, Yulong, who is in basically the same spot as Ling, and he'll tell you about some stuff about this uh, spirit world, and you can then go back to Ling and decide whether to tell Ling where he is or not. Um, it's completely up to you, I don't, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, as a side note, uh, if you come all the way around here, uh, along the beach, at the very end of the beach, there is a message in the bottle. Uh, this message in the bottle gives you a map, and this map can be used on the Quartermaster, the Quartermaster Goal, who you, you travel on the ship with, and that will take you to a random island with a, a werewolf on it. Uh, I think it's just an easter egg, I, I don't seem to be able to find any use for it, but it's there, um, maybe it does have a use, so you might want to know about the messaging bottle in the spirit realm. Uh, and then once you leave the spirit realm, you just exit the same way you came in, and I've used up a couple of tokens. There's a little timer down there as well, just go and say when the next token will get used up. Um, after that, return to the Ling, and that will be your uh, mini quest completed. Uh, and you'll get a couple of chime, uh, chimes, some Slayer XP, and uh, a couple of other things, I think. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's how you do this mini quest. 
this might be good for getting a little bit of charms at the start. They do take a while to kill those, but it's not too many, so it should take like 40 minutes to go and do. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to go and watch how to go and do the other mini quests, uh, click on the links at the end of this video. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.